Hi, I'm your host, Swapna Bharti, and welcome to our series on tech predictions for 2021. Our next oracle is Joe Duffy, CEO of Bulimi. Before I ask you to pick up your crystal ball and share your prediction, can you tell me about the company itself? Yeah, Pulumi, you know, our vision is cloud engineering and our mission is to make that happen. And cloud engineering to us is developers building cloud applications that are cloud native and take the full advantage of the cloud, collaborating closely with their infrastructure teams who are increasingly using engineering practices and applying those to things like infrastructure as code, testing and continuous delivery. And so Pulumi is an open source project and also a SaaS that's really helping teams collaborate to, to make that happen. Right, and now it's time for you to uh, grab your crystal ball and tell me what predictions you have for 2021. I think the first one is that this notion of cloud engineering is becoming more real than ever before. We're seeing developers really getting their hands dirty with infrastructure, really leveraging the cloud as powerful new building blocks in their application architectures. We're seeing people you know, actually using the title cloud engineer now. This is really the next wave of what comes after DevOps. And so cloud engineering is as much a set of best practices and principles and ways that you do things, as much as it is just culture and how we work together to, to really use the cloud as a competitive advantage. The cloud's not an afterthought anymore. It's really part of how we do cloud engineering. So the next prediction is really that the cloud permeates everything about software. I think you know we don't build typical uh, desktop applications anymore. Every application we build is connected to the cloud in some way or another, whether that's using the cloud for compute, for hosted AI ML services, whether it's infinitely scalable data stores and data warehouses, um, worldwide scale. I mean, the cloud is really in, uh, impacting all aspects of how we do software. And I think, you know, we, we like to say all software is cloud software, which implies that you know all developers are cloud developers and infrastructure teams are really central to enabling that next wave of uh, innovation. I think the next um, prediction really is that security is going to become part of how we think about cloud engineering. I think too often you know we've we've been burned by thinking of uh, security as an afterthought. Um, you know, we read uh, horror stories of things that have happened, you know, almost every week now. And I think really part of this is folding security into the core cloud engineering development loop, thinking about security as a feature, thinking about security as part of the architecture from day one. And I think there's a lot of open source projects out there that are really exciting that are that are helping this uh come to fruition. And the final prediction is we're going to see that we're going to move beyond this notion of really low level uh, services and really treating the cloud almost as uh, assembly language <laughs> in a sense, and really moving in the direction of higher level abstractions. You see Kubernetes has really obviously moved the needle here in a big way. We can now think of these abstractions. We can think of services. We can think of load balanced um, applications. We don't have to think about all the low level bits and bytes. And yet a lot of the things that Kubernetes has to connect to still to this day are low level configuration languages that are written in YAML that are not composable. And really we're gonna move in this direction of you know, building bigger things out of smaller things. We've seen this in, in all aspects of software engineering over the last you know, few decades. And I think now's the time that we're gonna see that really playing out. Uh, when it comes to cloud infrastructure. That's great, actually. Uh, I, I kind of fully agree with your predictions there. Uh, but I also want to know what is going to be the focus of the company in uh, this year? Yeah, I think, you know, we've really laid a solid foundation, you know, with the open source Pulumi infrastructure as code um, uh, tool and, and this the, the SaaS that, that allows teams to collaborate. We've got a lot of new projects underway, um, open source projects that are going to really, really help developers tap into the cloud more and more easily um, and increasingly helping helping these teams collaborate. I think it's it's we still hear to this day that you know there's a hard wall often between the development team and the infrastructure team and and really you know engineering leaders wanting to break down those walls and enable the team to to collaborate and build you know more powerful software and and using the cloud. And uh, so you know we think of that as Pulumi as a cloud engineering platform really helping all this uh, all all these predictions frankly uh, come to fruition this year. Joe, uh, thanks for sharing these predictions with us and also telling me what is going to be the focus of the company this year. I would love to have you back on the show uh, at the end of this year to see how many of your predictions turn out to be true and to get your set of predictions for the next year. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And I predict all four of them will be true by then. 